I done rehearsed this part so many fucking times for this video, bro. I'm going to get it right this last time. Whatever, I, whatever, whatever comes out, bro. If I fail or not, it's going to make the fucking cut, bro. This shit is a fucking hypothetical. This song starts with complete silence, bro. You got to fucking catch the beat. You know what I'm saying? How Bryson Tiller and uh, Don't. Let's just get into it, bro. Pedal to the metal, lost foot, and there was sugar in my gas tank. My pushing wasn't... Fuck! Yo, who the fuck agrees with me that this song should have been a fucking hit on TikTok? It's so fucking trash that it's so fucking good, but it can make some good ass videos. Make this shit a hit. But what's the fibbity dibbity YouTube? It's your boy Clark Clark County back here with a fucking story time for you guys, bro. Yes. Yes, bro. I met the legend, the myth, the Earl Sweatshirt Tebe. Don't know how to say his last name. Oh my god, bro. One of the greatest MCs of our generation, bro. And he's so, so underrated, man. Love, love, love his music. And I'm not gonna lie, bro. I got into his shit around when some rap songs came out, bro. As you can see, bro, I'm more of a I'm more of a Tyler the Creator fan, bro. I'm sorry. Everybody else on uh I feature was trash. Except for, you know, Frank Earl and Ocean. Those are the best ones. Those are the ones that prevailed and made something out of themselves once they group in. Left Brain, Haji, they ain't doing shit right now. Nobody gives a fuck about them. But Earl, Frank, and Tyler, they did something with themselves. And Earl, he's so underappreciated. I think he's so underappreciated, man. His music, especially some rap songs, just... It just hit me, man. It just hit for me. It just speaks to me, bro. That's it, bro. It's my soundtrack to my life, bro. It really is, bro. It's just... <sighs> let me stop gushing, bro. I'm, I'm turning real sus. But let me get into the story to when I finally got to meet the man. Let's take back to 2018. No, 2019. It was about to be my 21st birthday. So, yeah, 2019 has been a couple months after his Some Rap Songs album drop. He decided to do a tour, a, fire, a tour called Fire It Up. And he was coming to my city first, Charlotte, North Carolina. He was coming to Charlotte, North Carolina first. Well, I'm in Rockets, South Carolina, but he was coming to Charlotte, North Carolina. And that's where I was going to go and watch the show. So me being excited as fuck, I hit my homeboys up, bro. Yo, guess who's coming to town? They're Earl friends just like me. They said, nigga, who? I said, the motherfucking Earl sweatshirt, my nigga. They turned up. I turned up. Screaming like a bunch of fucking... Pop star <laughs> girls, <laughs> star studded type shit. I don't fucking know, but bro, we was fucking excited, bro. And the tickets were dirt cheap. Only $25 a ticket? Say no more. And I didn't even buy my own ticket, bro. My homie bought the ticket for me, bro. As a birthday gift. This just made the whole situation even better. It's my birthday and I get to meet one of my favorite rappers. So the day comes, March 25th. The show is coming up. It came up, bro, and we we ready to go, bro. We we on the highway towards Charlotte, bro. Jamming out to some Earl, old Earl songs, you know what I'm saying? From his first two albums, bro. Just enjoying everything he's done, his discography, man. Hyping up to go see this nigga, and we finally fucking make it. To be honest, bro, Earl's not that big. He's he's not a big he's not a big artist. He's not Tyler the Creator. He's not Drake. He's not Frank. His fan base is. He was just small. It's like a cult-like fan base. You feel me? No bigger than like a YouTuber's fan base. I didn't think a lot of people was going to be there, to be real. I didn't think a lot of people would show up. But to my surprise, my nigga had a large crowd. And I've been to a lot of concerts. And I thought his was going to be smallest. But nope. Nope. Lil Xan had, has the smallest. He had the smallest fans show up to see this man perform it was so fucking sad it was a little sad show <laughs> that's a video for another day but yeah earl had a pretty sizable fucking group of people show up bro we was in line for a little minute bro the whole goddamn venue was sold out and it's a it's a it's a small venue you know it's not big and like he ain't sound like arenas but for a, a you know intimate small venue bro it was pretty it was pretty good so, you know, we got into the venue, and then, you know, the show starts. You know, uh, Nakiel Smith came out. He performed one of the most underrated songs, I think. That song needs to go up. But, yeah, Nakiel Smith performed. Then some... I don't know, bitch and her kids came out and performed, bro. Her name is Baby Mother. <laughs> I 
<laughs> my boy was talking to the kids. We were talking to the kids because we was we, we on the side, right, where the rails is, and she's performing. Her kids is on the side next next to the uh, the uh, sound station guy, and the kids just like staring at us, bro. And we on the rails, like you know, what's up, bro? You know, we asking questions about his mom and shit. You know, so I just chopping it up with the uh, with the performer's kid, and you know, it's a, it's a pretty cool show. You know, waiting for Earl to come out, and Earl finally comes out, and you know, he does his thing. To be real, Earl is a terrible performer. Nigga has no fucking energy. I, I know he don't have energy in his, in his music, and that's why I like it. His monotone voice, but this nigga really don't move. He don't move at all. When I get just walked around the stage, just basically reciting the fucking songs. <laughs> He's a terrible performer, man, but I enjoy watching, listening to some of my favorite music live by the, you know, by the person. And, you know, show goes on. My friend not really enjoying it. <laughs> My other one ready to go. But me, I'm just, you know, reciting all the fucking lyrics, you know, going crazy. But here's some of the footage from the damn show. Yeah. Yeah. I The show ends and everybody's starting to leave. And this is why I think people are dumb because I never leave immediately when the show is over. Either the opening acts come out and I get to talk to them, or sometimes the artists I get a good glimpse of them. You know what I'm saying? I met Mac Miller's friends. I met uh, Shmino from you know the Decision Tour. I met I met a lot of people. Bro. I met. So I forgot that one girl's name, but I met a couple of people from these shows, and they're, they're really good experiences. I like, you know, meeting people and watching where their careers go in the future. Like, Smino is killing it right now. But to my surprise, bro, the main act wants to come out and talk to his fans. Bro, I was in the group talking to my homies, watching the people leave the fucking, uh, leave the show, right? Leave the venue. We talk about his fan base, like, yo, I don't want this kind of fans if we ever blow up because, you know, at the time we were, we were aspiring rappers. But aside from that, we were just chopping it up. And, you know, my boy just talking. My back is turned towards the stage. My boy is talking to me and my other boy who's to the left of me. And then suddenly he stops talking. And he has like a like a, like a, a ghost-like face looking behind me. I'm like, yo, what? What's going on? I turn around. And guess who I see coming off the stage? From the backstage off the stage and into the venue with everybody else. The myth, the legend. Earl fucking sweatshirt. I turn around. I start walking. They, I don't start walking towards them. They start pushing me towards them. Because I'm just like shot. I'm just standing there just like, you know, looking at him like he's a fucking god or some shit. But he's just a fucking human. They push me. Yo, yo go ask for a picture. Go ask for a picture. It's your birthday. Say it's your birthday. Because, I mean, I thought I, had, I, thought I knew what I was going to say if I ever got the chance to meet him. But no. <laughs> couldn't say shit bro this dude was 10 feet in front of me and I did not know what to say and then scream I didn't do nothing I just stared at him while he was talking to some fans over there they pushed me and they, you know go ask for a picture you know it's your birthday I walked towards him at first they were gonna say his first name but now I'm like that's weird you don't know me like that so I'm just going by where everybody else knows I'm by a sweatshirt so I walk up to him right and to my surprise this dude is way taller in person like is it me or did I I thought this nigga was like at least five six. <laughs> you feel me? Like I'm five ten, and apparently this dude's five eleven. I never knew that because he looks so much shorter on camera in his videos and shit. This man is taller than me. My nigga, it's not like I had to look up at him, but like he's like, bro, he's, he's taller than average, my nigga. So when I walked up to him, I'm like, yo, shit, I ain't say it, but I'm, I'm like, damn, this nigga tall as fuck. I swear I thought this nigga was smaller in person. I walk up to him. I say, hey, man, I'm shaking, bro. I'm like, what's up, man? How you doing? And to put so much surprise, he dashed me up, bro. I touch Earl Swisher. <laughs> I touch Earl Swisher. Hey, the boy is moving. <laughs> and it felt, bro, it felt so fucking smooth. I guess because he was holding the mic for so long that the sweat just made his hands feel like he they got the best, the most moisturized hands of all time, bro. His hands felt so smooth, bro. I, I touch Earl Swisher. <laughs> he dashed me up, and I'm like, yo. It's my birthday, man. Can I get a picture? He's like, oh, hey, man. Um, I got somebody who could probably set that up, bro, a little bit later. I got you later. But really, he was just, you know, telling me no. And I forgot a day before, some dude was trying to take a picture or a video of him. He smacked their phone out. 
the hand, so. Yes. Come on, Harold. If you're not a celebrity, don't ask Earl for pictures. And I understand too, because once people started noticing Earl was out in the venue, they started coming around and crowding. So if he took a picture with me, then he's gonna have to take a picture with everybody else. And I know he didn't want to just sit there and take pictures all fucking day. So we all, you know, crowd around him and uh, we were just talking and talking. He was talking to the dude who passed out on stage, right? I I, I ain't go into detail about the concert because I ain't wanna I ain't wanna do all that. You know, you don't care. <laughs> you just wanna know, you just wanna know how I met Earl. So this dude that passed out earlier, uh, I think he was having a seizure or some shit. I don't fucking know, but he, he's fine. He's talking to the dude that passed out. Um, and, and then other people were talking. They asking him questions and shit. Talk about you know, one dude was telling him how much like everybody in the south fuck with you so much more out here and blah 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 and then we were just staring at him you know watching Earl talk to people and shit and it was kind of it was a surreal experience because like you know I was standing in the front of like a, a a respected MC like a celebrity like yo like I never really stood in in the presence of a you know a celebrity like that you know it's like it's like my first time and uh we gotta start treating these motherfuckers like y'all because they're just fucking human. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I'm expecting. These motherfuckers are just fucking human, but he's just a dude who who happens to blow up off rap and people loves his music and you now we all treat him like he's something above us. But yeah, we were just, you know, he was just topping up with his fans. He was really good to his fans. He was a cool ass nigga, bro. He really is cool. And then he uh, you know, walked through the crowd and he walked behind me. And then, you know, walked up to somewhere to go sign some shit. But at that point, we didn't want to stay no more. I want to stay. But my dude, he had to go home and get some sleep and go to work. So we left. I was irritated. But at least I got to meet Earl. <laughs> That's how that matters. But I got to meet Earl, man. I got to touch his hand. I got to talk to him. He got, he looked, he, Earl looked me in my eyes. He looked me in these eyes. Earl, if you watching, you're not going to send me no DM. But, yo, he looked me in these eyes, bro. I looked Earl Swisher in the eyes. And for years, I've been seeing pictures, people talk about him, listen to his music. I get, I got, I got to talk to the dude who, um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to stop gushing, but I never got my picture. I never got my picture, but I got something cooler instead. So a memory that I would never forget. So if you're watching this, Earl, bro, I appreciate you being so kind. I know I didn't get my picture, but I appreciate you for being cool about you know, you know, to dap up and just, you know, just communicate with your fans, bro. It's cool as shit. I fuck with you. I am with you to the end, bro. Heard for dropping the album. And I hope you guys enjoyed this little story time. And I'll see you guys on my next fucking video, dog.